Hi and welcome everyone to another episode of Gaming with Jason. Today we are going to do a tutorial on the mobile app. I know a lot of you players use the mobile app and I want to make sure that I can do a basic tutorial so that you can understand some of the things that I tell you about. Now for me in general, uh, what I like to do is uh, when I'm on the road, I will play on the mobile. When I'm at home, I play on the desktop. So I play on both of these. And, you know, you might want to do that, too, if you have the opportunity. But let's go ahead and get into this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on the stats. And as you can see here in the stats, I have a rank of 70, 1.6 KD. These are all the different stats. I've won 25 games out of 125. Also, the statistics. As you see, I got my statistics and then my achievements. These are little quests that you do throughout the, the game. So as you build things, as you uh, use different doctrines, the game's going to reward you. You get points, you get gold for doing these things. So there isn't a benefit to doing these things. As you see, we're back out here on the home screen again. And we're going to go back into Rising Tides, which is what I'm playing right now. I decided to open up a second server. So with Rising Tides, you have play. Uh, if you want to go into one that you haven't been into, that's on your profile page. But if you've already been into it, you will see a return. That way you know which server you just came from, so you don't go back into the same server. Also, as you can see... It, uh, the calendar has a six next to it, letting you know that it is been uh, it's day six versus the apocalypse that has day 27. All right. So let's go ahead and get back into rising tides. And as you can see here, uh, this is what it looks like on the mobile device. And uh, as you see up here, when I'm clicking on it is... It's like the, the special materials. You, this is where you get to see how many nukes and all the different missiles that you have. And then if you click on your supplies, what you'll see here is you can see your current stock, which is 2201. My daily production is 3119, which means I'm doing about 120 an hour. But as you can see, that's what my consumption is. And that's how much, as you see, 2309 is what I will get at the end of the day if I don't do anything. So that is my components and you can do the same with all of your different resources just click on the components as you see i don't have anything pulling on it if you click down here where it says more uh, you have multiple options you got contact support if you want to do a, a help ticket you've got your game settings if you want to change some of the views the music whatever you can chat and we'll get into that in a minute you got the newspaper which we'll get into here in just a second you also have your search if you need to search for a well we'll just get into that in a minute we're going to get into every one of these i just want to go over them but click the more button and we're going into the newspaper and as you see here at the newspaper in the overview uh, as you see, I'm ranked number two. I'm so happy with myself. You can expand it and you can see where everybody is. You can also look at the articles. You can read through the articles. It's important. Some people spam, but it also tells you what's going on in the world. Or you can publish your own article. Uh, now let's click on the button again. And we are clicking on the search. So if you type in anything. So for example, here, I type in Tokyo. And as you see, it takes me right over to Tokyo and just like that so also if we click on the chat now we can go into chat now that's in game so that's everybody that's in the game if you want to have a chat with them there or if you click on the global that is all the different people that are on in the different servers so you don't know what what server you're in also um if you click on the help it just uh it's like a ticket uh, item within the within the chat and then also more, you got it. You've got the security council. All right, so let's get back to where we were. As you see, you can zoom all the way out. And the nice thing about this is you can go off the edge of the map, as you see here, uh, and then just go back over to where I'm at. As you see, I'm only in day six. Um, but if you look here, okay. So if you select a unit, okay. So I've got this unit here. I click and click on him, and then. If I want him to go somewhere so I can have him click on move. And then if I click the more button, I can have him go somewhere else by clicking the green waypoint button. And I want him 
to come right over here because I'm, I'm planning on attacking this city. I don't want to give France a chance. So now I waypoint out of there. Now, if I just click on the tap on the screen, but if you see down there in the bottom left hand corner, if I need to reselect that unit again, I can. So you see where it says the, the 15 there? If you click on that, uh, these are your game events and you can go through here. This is how you keep up on what's going on uh, with your game. If you click on the research tab, you can go and you can choose. It's a lot easier in here. Uh, but there are some things that you need to know about the research tab. So what we're going to click on is infantry. And then we're going to click on motorized infantry. And you see where it says next? Uh, that next means that you've already completed it. As you see, it says research completed. So you hit the next button and it will take you to the next one. And as you see up here, I've got 10 hours and 14 minutes left. Uh, to research this it tells me certain things such as what doctor and i'm in uh what it can do what is radar signature and what other transport abilities i have such as airlift if i also want to i could click the gold button if i've got gold in my account and i can speed up the research also if you scroll down you will see all the different stats for all of the different uh, for all the different units as you see the soft targets are like your infantry your hard targets are your armor And then it tells you your attack and your defense just like it does on the desktop but Honestly in the mobile some of these things are much better than when you get on the desktop They actually did a really good job on this mobile because I've been on other games that switch mobile and as you see there That's your terrain information, but I've been on other games that switch to mobile after they had uh, originally the desktop version And I'm telling you it is absolutely the worst uh ebony that's why I, that's part of the reason why i stopped is because they stopped doing the desktop version went to the app and the app sucked so bad so the fact that these guys got a good app going that is absolutely amazing all right so if we want to research things so let, let's say we click on airborne infantry as you see it can conquer territory it tells you what your radar signatures are it tells you what your air assault is it tells you what your range of your airlift is. It tells you all these different things. And hey guys, if you're finding this stuff uh, valuable and, and with good information, hey, please don't hesitate to, hit, to click the like button. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or just go ahead and click the subscribe button. But anyways, getting back into it, there is another way to, to get to, uh, to get to some more stats when it comes to the mobile device, okay? So let's go back here and let's click out on our unit. And as you see, I, or excuse me, I clicked on the city. As you see, I can click, I can click the army base. I can click the, the buildings. I have the different tabs. And as you see, I can go through them, Navy, ships, and then they have sub tabs within them. So make sure that you understand your sub tabs. And then you've got your officers and then your C's and stuff. Okay, so let's go over here. Here's another trick if you want to know some stuff about the... Uh, about how to get to your your uh, other stats that you need. So like such as building requirements, because this has been the only place that I can find it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on Marines. And then as you see here, you scroll down, you see the requirements, it tells you right there. So you can't get this in the research tab, but if you go into the city tab and click on, like, like you're going to go and build, you can click on the unit. It won't let you build it, but because you see that the that the start button is grayed out, but it will tell you what it is that you need if you were looking to build that unit so that if you need to check to see if you already have the right infrastructure for or what other infrastructure you might need. So this is very important and this is something that I think a lot of people miss. And as you see here, it goes down and it still gives you all the combat properties that you would get in the research tab. Uh, if you go into the build tab, like I said, it is uh, much more informative than in the research tab. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tap the screen. We're going to click on the cities tab. And then here in the cities, this is something that most people don't know. Okay. So you can go through here, right? And you can choose most of, uh, choose any one of these 
uh, filters that you want to use. Generally, what I use is province state, and you'll see why here in just a second. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to click on province state. So now that brings up everything that is in my province. And so what you want to do is you want to select each one of your tabs. Now later in game, this will be a little bit easier, but you're going to you're going to select each one of them that says homeland or annex city. So now I've reached the bottom of it. I've got all of my units. Now if I click build, now normally like in late game. Uh, what I could do is I would start with my higher end units. So I would go over to my ships if I wanted to build ships and it would tell me how many ships I could build. And then I would go over to my air and then I would build my air and then I would go over to my armor and then build my armor and then my infantry. And what it will do is make life so much easier for you because what you, what you get to do instead is... Uh, you don't have to go through and select. So like on the desktop, you have to, you, you can select them in groups, but you can't select it and then have it automatically decide what cities those can be built in based upon the prereq. So it makes life a little bit easier in the mobile. Some of the mobile stuff, especially when you're in game, it makes it easier. So next thing we're doing is we're going into the market tab. Here in the market tab, this is a place where you should probably look at a lot uh, because it's really, really important. Now in the market tab, you can both buy and sell resources and you can also choose between the different resources you want to do by doing that clicking on the 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 drop down icon and then you enter it in and it will tell you now if you are in the if you chose to sell you're going to end up in the top where it says buy supplies if you are choosing to buy re resources you're going to be so like let's say you're short on something and you need to buy something your order is going to show up under sell supplies so let's say that somebody is doing a trade with you where they want a certain amount of resources in exchange for a certain amount of resources. So you would go out and you would create an offer. You would put up, as you can see here again, let me, let me rewind this. You would go, you would create an offer and then you would sell your resources. You would sell whatever it was. Um, excuse me. Sorry. Let me, let me redact that. You would choose the buy option because then you can put in a set price. So usually I trade resources at six. So what I will do is I'll put in six or whatever the highest number is so that I can show up on top and then they will do the same trade and then you just go fill their order, okay? And so they fill your order, you fill their order, everybody, everybody's happy. So you just put in a buy offer, somebody comes in and, and settles it and that's how you can trade resources within your uh, overall uh, within your coalition or if you want to make trades with people outside because there are certain countries that have certain resources that are poor in one area. And so you, if you do a good trade and create a good market, you can build a massive military. And this is the importance of diplomacy. So let's go ahead and get on into this. And so we we can look here at what our current orders are and what our executed orders are. So these are all the things that you bought and sold. And then your current orders is what you currently have out on the market. Now that's internal only. Uh, you, that's just to keep record uh, in your own personal accounting. As you see, there are different resources that you can go through here. And let's get back out of here. And... Um, all right, so now what we're doing is we're clicking on the Diplomacy tab. Now, here in the Diplomacy tab, um, there is there is a, I call it a bug, but if you see where it says the up and down arrows, um, you have to tap that every time you go in there if you want to see who's top and who's bottom because it starts from the bottom and works its way up. So that means you have to scroll all the way to the bottom unless you tap that double arrow, which will then uh, readjust it and bring everybody to the top. And then you can scroll down and see where you fit there. As you see, we're doing here. I am number two. And you can also go to uh, you can get to it through the. Uh, newspaper tab, as I showed you, these are all the different coalitions. So you've got a sub tab and this is who are, who's applying to my coalition. But because I am in rising tides, you only get three coalition members, which makes it a tighter knit group. And then this is the history since you joined the coalition. And as you see here, you can go over here to messages and trade. And if you see on the top left hand corner, you there is a little button there that will let you to click back and then you can see your messages. OK, guys, um, I, if you have any questions about this so far, please, uh, please leave a comment down in the comment section. 
letting me know. If you click on the gold button, now that will also take you to where you can uh, buy gold if you've got the money for it. Also, if you look up here, you got your victory points up in the top right hand corner. And then next to that, you have the four times speed. You have the time of day that it is on what calendar day it is. So day six, five, 19, four times speed. And then my profile. And then as you see, my resources. So this is pretty simple. All right, guys, if you like this information, if you found it valuable, please like it. It helps me out in the algorithm. If you have any questions, leave me something down in the comments. If you have any, uh, if you find this information valuable, please subscribe. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on my live stream. I'm going to be doing a tutorial uh, and it's going to be on Monday, the 23rd at 6 p.m. I would love to see you there. If you have any questions, I'll be able to do it there as well. I will see you guys on the next episode of Gaming with Jason.